Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the equation of a linear function in slope point form and rewrite it in general form. So here our question asks us to rewrite the equation of this function in general form. And if we look at that, we see we've got a slope point form. Here's the slope, negative 3 over 8. And this goes through the point plus 2, negative 3. Okay. So the idea of how we go about this is pretty similar to how we change from slope-intercept form to general form. We just have to be just a little bit more careful because it's just sort of one extra step where we this isn't simplified yet. So first of all, we're going to start off and clear the fractions because uh, we have to do that anyway, so we might as well do it right away. And we'll clear the fractions by multiplying by the least common denominator of all the denominators. So often there's only one. So we'll multiply... by 8 to clear the fractions. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 8. Equals 8 times negative 3 over 8 times x minus 2. Okay, and now I simplify. I just want to be clear about what's going to happen on the right-hand side. A common error that I would see would be people would multiply 8 times negative 3 over 8, and then they'd also multiply 8 times x minus 2. But we shouldn't do that. If we do that, it will have the effect of multiplying the whole thing by 64. Um, we have three terms that we're multiplying, three, three factors that we're multiplying, 1, 2, 3. And we're just going to multiply two of them together first. Okay, and then we'll take whatever we've got there and multiply that by this. But we don't sort of, people think of it as kind of distributing the 8, and we're not going to do that. Uh, you can just try it with numbers if you want. You just say 2 times 3 times 4 and see what happens if you do that. Okay, so, so here we have 8 times negative 3 over 8. Um, you can multiply fractions these as long, any way you like as long as you get negative 3. Uh, the easiest way to think of it is this is negative 3 divided by 8 times 8. So those undo each other. So we just have negative 3 here. And then we have that times x minus 2. And then over here, I'll distribute this right now. So I'll have 8y plus 24. Alright, now I'm going to continue simplifying. My left side is pretty good. So I'll have negative 3x plus 6. And now I want to group everything onto the same side. So I'm going to write rearrange to equal zero. Just because that's how general form looks. Everything's equal to zero. So everything is on one side equal to zero on the other side. And again, the way I decide which, um, which side to put it on, uh, it saves me steps if I sort of look ahead and think which side will make my a term which is the coefficient on x, which side will make that positive. So right now it's negative. So if I add 3x to both sides, it'll be like it moved over here and became positive. So I'm going to put everything on the left. So the way I do that is I'll have to subtract, oh, uh, sorry, I'll add 3x, and I'll subtract 6 from both sides. So here I'll have 8y plus 24 plus 3x minus 6. Okay. So just underline the new thing there. Alright, and then here we should get 0. If we didn't get 0, we did it wrong. So negative 3x plus 3x, that's 0. And 6 minus 6, that's 0. That was the point of that. Um, and I'm going to simplify here, and while I simplify, I need my x term to be first for general form. So I'll just do that in one step. I'll put my x term first. It's positive 3x. So 3x. And then we've got positive 8y, so it's plus 8y. And then we have 24 minus 6, so that's going to be plus 18. And that right there is general form. So a quick review of what happened. 
Um, we multiplied by the least common denominator to clear the fractions. Multiply both sides by that. Um, when our right-hand side is already factored, we'll feel like we're just multiplying this number here by 8, which is essentially true. Um, and then we'll just get the... We've just got negative 3 there, and then we simplify, simplify here like this, and then we group everything on one side, making sure our x term is positive. And then we make sure we write it with the x term first, and then the y term, and then the constant term equals 0. Okay, good luck with it.